Hello everybody, Lego Buddy 3 here. Today I'm going to be showing you how, to, you how to take apart and reassemble the DQ bait. So just a warning, uh, this does take a very, very long time to do. Uh, first time I did it, it took me two hours probably, and I am fairly experienced with doing this. But uh, if you want to <laughs> do it and waste a lot of your time, then sure, come um, do this. So. First thing you'll do is, yeah, you won't, uh, unlike most other uh, two-layered BQ products, you won't uh, turn it in the middle of the layer, you'll actually do it one layer offset from that, and then you'll put your thumb in here, and you may have to push this piece back and pop it out. Uh, you may, it may like, this corner section may explode when you do that, I've had that happen a couple times, but don't worry. Just uh, take out these little sections like this, and then take out this edge section, and, and just take out all the pieces. There we go. <laughs> yep, this puzzle does have quite a few pieces. I don't know off the top of my head how many it does, but. I'd guess around 400, maybe. So, yeah, uh, you'll have this core thing right here, and you, uh, if you want to get the, these pieces out, you could just turn it uh, like 45 degrees like this, and then just pull it out. These pieces actually have springs in them, so yeah, that's kind of interesting. And uh, make these pieces separate from the rest of them. Just, that'll just make it easier when you're sorting them. The one mistake that I did make when I was doing it for the first time is uh, I did not sort the pieces. I just took it out of a big pile, and yeah, that was definitely a mistake because there are so many different types. It uh, was just crazy. So just take this completely apart. And if you want to uh, take apart the core, uh, it is basically just like a cube too. So you probably have taken apart a 2x2 two two before. Uh, so basically just unscrew unscrew the screws that you can see closer to you, not the farther ones in. And yeah, it, you should be able to assemble it pretty quickly. But I'm not going to be doing this, just for the sake of time. So yeah, uh, so I just separated those big pieces. So now I'm going to separate out all of the large corners and the large edges. So be right back. Okay, so there should be uh, 8 of these pieces, these two stand, stand up nicely, and 24 of those, because this has the same mechanism as a V cube 7, only the inner layer is cut in half, so, yeah. Uh, next, we can separate these uh, edge pieces. You can just separate, you can just put these both of these types into a pile. You can separate them if you want to, but for the sake of space, <laughs> we can uh, just put them both into one pile. Okay, once you got all those separated, uh, you'll uh, then just keep on sorting them out. Uh, you can put, for example, these pieces in a pile. You may also do it with these pieces. Okay, so once you have those two pieces sorted out, uh, what you'll have left are these pieces that look like this, these pieces that look like this, and the smaller ones of these pieces. But actually, there are two types of them, as you can see uh, right here. They actually face different directions. And this is what caught me up the first time I assembled this. It was so hard looking for all the different uh, uh, the different directions of them. So I'm going to be sorting them out in the beginning. These pieces also have different directions. So just uh, for these ones, just set them down and uh, like this. And then separate them out into different piles. And these ones, just set them out like this. And uh, separate... Uh, put it, these like, pieces in a pile, and then the pieces, the opposite of those pieces, in another pile. And then separate like these two types of pieces too. So I'll be back when I have all that done. An easy way to tell the difference between these two pieces is just uh, face them with the colors facing away from you. And then just uh, have them, the holes facing down. And then just... Uh, you can just uh, put the ones that are facing this way in one pile, 
the ones that are facing this way and another. Sort them, just do the same thing with these ones, just have the colors facing up and these little uh, things facing towards you. Okay, so now that we have all the pieces sorted out, should be ready to go. Um, uh, we first get the core. So I'm going to be doing this, and I'm going to show you how to do one corner section of it, or one eighth section, technically. Uh, and then you're just going to repeat that on every side. Uh, so, let's begin. Uh, one thing that I do find useful is tape, actually. Uh, just because this first little part you'll quickly learn is takes a very long time. I'm also going to be take, putting this together scrambled, so I won't have to go through the time of putting in each piece in the right place. But we're just going to be putting in the corners uh, in the correct way, so it'll be solvable still. So, for first, start out with four of these pieces. Uh, these are the pieces with springs in them that you took out last. Uh, we're just gonna fill up this one, uh, this one center just for to make it easy, and make sure to do it kind of at a 45 degree angle like that. And we can put that down at the bottom. Then you can kind of hold that like there, like that. And then just get four more of them, and just find a way to get all four of these to go in here without losing the other ones. This is probably the most difficult part right here. Uh, you may want to set those down right here for the moment. We're going to grab all the pieces that we need for the next little part. We need two of these large uh, edge pieces, uh, and then two of these large pieces from one side and two of the smaller pieces too. And then we need the same exact thing from the other side, two large, two small. Okay, so then we uh, grab them like this. Uh, this is where tape may come in. Uh, we may grab a little piece and then just stick it right onto there just to keep these together. Okay, there we go. That will be good. And then we will put one of these large edge pieces in here, kind of hold it in place, uh, put uh, a pair of two of these pieces, two of the pieces that look like this, pair them up together, and just slide them on right there, just like that. And then get a pair of two of them up of the other type, and slide them on. Right on to here. Next, what you will do is uh, get the large edge piece and then put it in like this. I wasn't able to record this because it was so difficult to do. And remember, tape is your friend. <laughs> I do not really recommend uh, putting tape on on the stickers because it can peel them off. But in this case, it was just, I had to do it. It was impossible. <laughs> so now you'll do that again, only in this section. And I'll see you then. Okay, here we go. And now we can turn this onto the side like this. And then we'll build up the section like this. If you ever uh, done any other V-cube, you'll, any other larger V-cube, then you'll know how to do this, basically. But if not, just get a piece like this and slide that in. Grab uh, two of these pieces uh, facing opposite directions and slide one on one side and one on the other side of it. Oops. And then grab this larger piece and put that over all of them. And then get uh, uh, two pairs of these edges and just slide the, this over them all, like that. And then the corners, remember we're going to be putting these all in, uh, solved together. So like white, and then white will be facing here, 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 and orange will be here, 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 here. And so, yeah. Next, we'll have two more of these pieces, that uh, both facing opposite directions. We'll slide one on right there, like that, and one on right there, oops, and then grab two of these pieces, 
Put it there, put it there. Grab a larger edge piece, slide it on there. Uh, grab two of these pieces. This is the first piece that you put on. Slide one on over here, and one on right there. Grab two of the pieces going off the directions like this, and put one in there, one in there, and then grab one of the smaller edge pieces and slide it on there. And now we're going to be grab doing another one of those big uh, edge sections, and you can basically just uh, start it like this and just build your way up. You know how to do it, so I'll leave it to you. Okay, there we go. So next what you'll do is uh, fill these up the, the two pieces and then make another section right here. And then fill this up just like you did. And then do that with these other two sections. And then you can take the tape, tape off, obviously. And then just turn it sideways and pretend this is all finished. Build another section right here, build this up, and build a section right here, right here, and then uh, for the last section, I will show you what to do. And so, just fill up all of that, and I will see you when you got all that done. Okay, once you get to this part, about an hour later, um, put in the last corner piece. Remember, put them all in, facing the right direction, so like green, 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 and green. Yeah, make sure it's all good on all sides. And then you can put in this last large edge piece and put in these last other pieces. And then from here just assemble it just at basically has you have you basically how you have been doing it the other time, only you'll do it do it a bit out of order. So just put in the edges, and then grab and make one of these uh, sections of pieces. You can do it like this if you want. And then once you got that, just get the last two edge pieces, and just stick them in like that. So here you go. All you have to do is solve it now, and you have it all assembled. So the thing with that tape, you know how I said not to put on the stickers? This is what happened. Luckily, <laughs> it did come with a set of extra stickers, so I used a bunch of those up. But uh, yeah, unless you want to uh, have waste much time putting on stickers, then don't put the tape on the pieces or on the stickers. But anyway, it didn't take as long as I expected, only like an hour, but uh, first timers, it may take quite a bit longer, so hope this helped you. If you have any uh, questions, leave them in the comments below, so, and I'll see you later. Bye!